okay then you have a switch over here you have pipelines you have so many things made of plastic right so they are everyday i mean they are really useful in your everyday life so, so that's two types of plastics one which can be biodegradable but one which cannot be biodegradable something which is called single use plastic what does it mean by single use plastic you use it and you throw it right you will use it for a single time the glasses which you use the spoons which you use you go for an occasion those are single use plastic but before i start the entire topic i just complete everything in just five minutes okay what do we actually be mean by plastic plastics are synthetic or semi synthetic polymers they have got their name as plastics why do we say plastics because of the word plasticity what is actually meant by plasticity they can be molded that means that means they can be converted into any shape yeah. your toys which you get those plastic small small toys which you play right they can be molded into any shape they can be compressed pressed and they can be extruded that means you can uh, make them into any shape so it is called a plastic a semi synthetic or a synthetic polymer which is extruded molded or converted into any shape so let us see what are the negative impacts of plastic it is one thing which cannot be degraded and it takes several hundreds of years to get degraded so i'll tell you one classic example your mother uh, packs some your carrier or something for you she keeps a kurkure packet for you she keeps a lace packet for you she gives you an, a banana an apple a soft a small pet bottle some coca cola drink or anything what will you do you will eat it throw it in the garbage bag right you will throw it in the trash what will happen the banana skin that will decompose the apple left over rotten part it will decompose but your kurkure packet cover your lace packet cover it will not decompose the little pet bottle the thumbs up bottle or the coca cola bottle which you use it will also not decompose so what do we need to do you have to separate everything at the very source level source means the starting level you have to segregate the waste segregate means separate this is something which you need to understand at this very age separate the wet waste and the dry waste at home intlo kuda amma ki cheppandi amma tadi chatta veer cheyandi podi chatta veer cheyandi tadi chatta anta if you hand over separately that will be converted into manure adi eruvayin antu man mokkalke useful kada if you do not separate the waste all the plastic all the food material everything left over will be mixed up and just imagine you cannot keep your hand in the waste and you cannot separate it it's so dirty and it is very dirty even for the sanitation workers to separate it let us at our very home level separate the wet waste and the dry waste apudu wet waste anta em avutundi adi konni roju ki decompose ayipothundi kada adi yeru ayipothundi manure ayipothundi ee ee plastic form can be converted to the other kuni schools especially in north eastern states loni students not have they, they don't have just the habit of carrying the school bags they have the habit of carrying another bag of plastic our thinna kurkure covers can be lace covers can be into plastic can in plumb bandi no vaartunda semi vaartundi godunu ko vaartunna ammanni vaartunna a covers anni ok bag lo pakko velthu what do those people do they act they have an supwr some useful uh, it is actually um some productive work supw is actually some productive work done a covers anni wrap chesi oka bottle lo crush chesi meela pillalu pettastaru అలా ఇన్ని బాటల్స్ అవుతాయి అది డిగ్రేడ్ అవ్వాలి అది ఏం చేస్తారు బ్రిక్స్ కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ కి వాడతారు రోడ్ లేస్ చేయడానికి వాడతారు అవి డిగ్రేడ్ అవ్వవు కాబట్టి ఎన్ని సంవత్సరాలైనా ఆ రోడ్లు అలాగే ఉంటాయి ఆ బ్రిక్స్ నడ్డానికి వాడతారు కాబట్టి మీరు ఇంట్లో వాడిన ప్లాస్టిక్ కి కొన్ని రోజులకి బ్రిక్స్ గాను రోడ్స్ గాను వేయబడతాయి అది మనం చెత్త అంతా ఒక దగ్గర వేస్తాం అనుకోండి what will happen animals will start eating it and it has been found that in the stomach of cows so much of plastic has been obtained it not only affects their digestive system it affects their hormone system many of the sea birds are being affected many of the fish are being affected and this affects their egg laying capacity and their hormones also uh, wild life is being affected marine life is being affected so mm, on an average about 90 kg of plastic is being used by one human being in one year and the amount is just increasing ma chinna kudi ni kurkure packet ni lace packet ni leva mummy enta waste generate cheyali meeru chaala chaala generate chesi ante telikunta meeku telikunta we are adding to more of waste so keep that as 
side what we actually need to say is that so much so many animals and the wildlife are being affected and what is happening uh marine water low valley sati man directly the water and the oceans so will be releasing australia and the countries to a mesh is being kept up ఈ వాటర్ అంతా వెళ్ళినప్పుడు ఓన్లీ ద ప్లాస్టిక్ ఆర్ ద వేస్ట్ మెటీరియల్ మీరు చూడండి అమ్మ టీ పొడక్ పెట్టినప్పుడు ఆ జాలీలు ఆ టీ పొడి అంతా ఉండిపోయి ఓన్లీ ద డికాషన్ కమ్స్ అవు అలాగే బీచెస్ లోని ఆ సీ లాంటి పెట్టేసరికి ఆల్ ద ప్లాస్టిక్ విల్ బి ఎక్యూమ్లేటెడ్ ఓన్లీ ద వాటర్ విల్ బి రిలీజ్ ఇన్ ఇన్ ద ఓషన్ సో ద యానిమల్ లైఫ్ ఇస్ గ్రేట్లీ ప్రొటెక్టెడ్ రైట్ ఈ సీ బర్డ్స్ కానీ టర్టల్స్ అయితే నెక్స్ట్ అవి అన్ని తాళ్ళు అవన్నీ చుట్టికి పోతున్నాయి అండ్ దిస్ ఇస్ అ వెరీ గ్రేట్ డ్యామేజ్ and uh, what has gvmc done to it we are like living in the city of destiny we call vice uh, visakhapatnam is the city of destiny what have we done visakhapatnam um, june 5th is considered to be world environment day on june 5th the commissioner of gvmc has started a state of rule we are not going to use any single use plastic single use plastic is completely banned in visakhapatnam so we sanitation secretaries we go to any shop we find plastic over there we tell them don't use it if they again use it we find them we have the right to find them if we impose a fine of 1000 or 2000 or 5000 will you will that shop keep us stuck at the manufacturing level it will also start stop after few years but at the very source level we have to stop certain things so what is happening is gvmc has started a ban on single use plastic it has been almost 100 days back the single ban on single use plastic has taken place and the credit goes to greta vishakhapatnam municipal corporation a very big uh, good thing that has been cha- started us we have come to schools especially commissioner sir uh, mayor madam collector sir they have gone to students and started distribution of cloth bags so when you go to a market you will not say the grocery shop previously how you the trend used to be there grocery shop person used to care ఒక్కొక్క కవర్లో ఒక్కొక్క కవర్లో వంకాయ బెండకాయలు వేరుకాయ అన్ని వేరు వేరు కవర్లో ప్యాక్ చేసి ప్యాక్ చేసి ఇలా మనకిచ్చేవారు తెలియకుండా ఇన్ఫిల్ ప్లాస్టిక్ అయిపోయేది ఇప్పుడు విఆర్ సపోజ్ టు టేక్ అ క్లాత్ బ్యాగ్ సో క్లాత్ బ్యాగ్ ఛాలెంజ్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ స్టార్టెడ్ ఎస్పెషలీ ఇన్ స్కూల్స్ మీరు మోల్డ్ అవుతే జనరేషన్స్ జనరేషన్స్ అన్ని మారిపోతాయి రైట్ బికాస్ యు ఆర్ ద యంగ్ బ్లడ్ యు ఆర్ ద ఫ్యూచర్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా యు ఆర్ ద ఫ్యూచర్ ఆఫ్ ద వరల్డ్ ఇన్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ నాట్ ఇండియా యు ఆర్ ద ఫ్యూచర్ ఆఫ్ ద వరల్డ్ సో so a clock bag challenge has been started by gvmc so even when we go to uh, the markets we say we say no you you're not supposed to use any plastic anymore you have to carry your own clock bag okay so this is what the gvmc has been doing so what does all this plastic do over a period of time it starts decomposing when it decomposes it releases those greenhouse gases what are those greenhouse gases carbon dioxide nitrous oxide the um methane ozone what will they be doing they trap the infrared radiation ra- region of the solar radiation solar radiation low infrared ra- radiation captures it as a result the earth will become even more, more hot because we are facing very hot high temperatures the earth will become even more hot and the earth temperature series so it could be glaciers melt type of thing right melting of glaciers will be taking place overall morphology of the earth will differ only because of excessive use of single use plastic so what i finally conclude to say is that moreover aquifers ground water table will also be contaminated oka vala oka ground water table is contaminated it becomes so difficult to remove the water get it i mean purify it again release it into the ground water so finally i would like to say conclude by saying this earth does not belong only to us it belongs to millions of other organisms they have come before us we have just encroached upon their land we have we are just trespassers who have encroached upon their land one of our land and occupied chesty policies is to not all the active on the basin only thing that we need to do is from our side reduce the use of plastic greatly greatly reduce the use of plastic say no to single use plastic okay 